Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about hair. So recently, everyone, and I mean everyone, has been sliding in my DMs talking about how long my hair has gotten. Everyone's like, do you have extensions in? Is that real? People have questions. People want to know. So I'm here to tell you. This is my real hair. There are no tapins. There are no beads. There are no weaves. There's, this is not a wig. This is my hair. It goes down to like here. Here, a little under, a little bit under the boob. Here, I'll show you from the back. This is how it looks from the back. It goes to about here, and my bra strap is like up here. But yeah, since everyone's been commenting on my hair lately, I decided it only makes sense to do a hair growing video. So today we're gonna be talking about tips and tricks that I do, that I've been doing for years to get long, healthy, shiny hair. We don't want no long hair that's just dingy at the ends. You want long, healthy hair. So if you wanna learn all my tips and tricks on how I grew my hair super long in a pretty short period of time, then just keep watching. Okay, so a quick background on my hair, and I'll include some pictures as well. My hair has always been long, down to my butt. My mom didn't cut my hair till I was seven, and my whole life, my hair has been down to my belly button, at least. Um, I cut my hair one time in seventh grade. I have no pictures from that time. It was horrendous. But after that, my hair was always long. Through high school, through college, it was she was Rapunzel girl, she was Pocahontas. Actually, people called me Pocahontas. I've always been known for my super long hair. However, when I was about 20, early 20s, like maybe 23 around that time, I had what I like to call a quarter life crisis. I cut off 13 inches of my hair to here and I donated it to children with hair loss. I was going through a lot of changes in my life at the time and I feel like since all the changes were out of my control, I wanted to make a change that I was in charge of, so I decided to chop my hair off. I did love it, I loved it short. I told my friends I was never gonna have long hair again. Like, I loved it short so much. But then, plot twist, I decided I could be Beyonce. I could be blonde. So I bleached my hair three times unprofessionally. Um, one of my friends did it, and honestly, she did a great job. It's just I did it in a very short amount of time. Like I bleached it three times, I wanna say in like two weeks. So it was a lot. And then the fourth time I went to a hair salon in Tampa, they completely fucked my shit up. I looked like macaroni and cheese. It was not good. Then the fifth time I got it bleached, I got it done here in Dallas. They did a phenomenal job. However, the damage had already been done. Okay, my hair, it was bad. It felt like actual hay, like straw, like a scarecrow. That's what my hair felt like. I'm not exaggerating. And I think that's because my hair is more Asian and it just doesn't lift like them white girl's hair. Okay, so anyways, it was bad. After that, I was like, I cannot put heat on my hair anymore. It was so damaged. So for, I would say a whole year, I did not put heat on my hair. I had it in a messy bun girl every single day. I did a hair mask, hot oil treatments, like at least two to three times a week for like a year. Yeah, that's my hair story, my hair struggle. After that, I dyed it back black and that is where we're gonna start the tips and tricks and I'll put pictures in when it was black yet still short. My first tip to growing long and healthy hair is to only wash your hair once a week or as minimally as you possibly physically can stand it. I only wash my hair once a week. My hair personally does not get greasy very fast. Like my hair might get greasy on like day four or five and then I just use dry shampoo for the next few days, then I wash it. If you really can't stand how oily it gets or like how much dry shampoo is piling up in it, my tip to you is to do some different hairstyles towards the end of the week when it's getting really disgusting. So the first few days I'll wear my hair down. I pretty much wear my hair down all the time but if it's disgusting and I can't stand it girl I do a low slick down ponytail I do a high ponytail I do a high bun a low bun braid it pigtails um, half up half down just switch it up and yeah just wash your hair as minimally as possible because the more you wash your hair it's you're drying it out and your hair needs your natural oils for moisture and like love and TLC. My second tip is hair masking. Face masks, yes, we love a face mask, 
but we also love a hair mask. I tend to do a hair mask almost every single time I wash my hair, and that is because I only wash my hair once a week. So I do a hair mask once a week. If you wash your hair twice a week, maybe do it every other wash. All I'm focused on is my ends getting moisture and having moisture all the time. There's a Shea Moisture mask that I'm obsessed with. If you've been following me on Instagram for like a few years, I used to post this mask all the time and I still use it, I just haven't posted it in a while. Aveda has a really good mask for dry hair. It's the dry remedy one. Girl, just find you a mask that you like and apply that shit from the ears down every week or every other wash, however you wanna do it. The third tip I have for you is using a wet brush or a wide tooth comb. I use my wet brush like 99% of the time. As soon as I get out of the shower, I use my wet brush. When my hair is dry, I use my wet brush. This is my like holy grail brush, but I do use a wide tooth comb in the shower. So sometimes if I have the mask sitting on there for a long time and I have to like shave my legs, wash my body, wash my face, all that stuff, I will comb through my hair gently, keyword, gently with a wide tooth comb in the shower while the conditioner or the mask is still in my hair. These brushes brushes are just a lot more gentle on your hair. They're not gonna rip your hair out. The wet brush especially, it just glides through your hair. If you have a tangle, these aren't that like sturdy, so it's not just gonna rip your hair out. It kind of like helps you tangle it softly. So in order to prevent breakage, you wanna use a wet brush. My fourth tip is to use minimal heat. Now, I heat style my hair every single time I wash it, but that's only once a week. And then throughout those days, all I have to do is touch up tiny pieces and I'm not putting heat on my hair every single day. If there's no reason for me to heat style my hair, like if I have a chill week or I'm just not feeling it, I'll take that week to do like ponytails and protective styles and not use heat on my hair. But when I do put heat on my hair, I use my Foxy Bay straightener. I love this straightener because you can choose the heat setting. So it's not just an on off button and it's one heat, like 350 degrees, 400 degrees on everyone's hair. You can use the side to determine what degree you want it to be. I do mine on like 300, sometimes lower. If I'm in a real rush, maybe 320, but I never go above 320, ever. And I use this to straighten my hair and I use this to curl my hair. So how you see it right now, this is like day four hair, I think. So I haven't gone over it in four days, but initially this is what I used to curl it because this is what I used to curl my hair and straighten it. I did buy this straightener with my own money like five years ago, but I am happy to announce that I am now working with Foxy Bay. Yay! Um, I'm so glad because obviously I had their products before, I bought them before, I'm obsessed with them, but I do have a discount code with them now, so if you wanna try out their, this straightener or they also have wands, curling irons, blow dryers, all the hair things, then I believe it'll save you 60% off, but I will have it on the screen somewhere for you. But yes, minimal heat if you can. If you can't, low heat. This brings me to my next tip, Tip number five is to use a heat protectant. Use any heat protectant. I tend to use the, um, the one I use, I'll have on the screen somewhere, but use any heat protectant that you can. I am OCD about the heat protectant. So when my hair is wet, I will spray my hair with the heat protectant from the ears down and then brush it through. I don't blow dry my hair unless I absolutely have to. I just let it air dry. Once it's dry, I spray another layer of heat protectant. And then as I'm doing my hair and I section it off, I spray each section again with heat protectant. My hair is protected, girl. <laughs> it's protected from the heat, okay? You don't want split ends, you don't want breakage, you don't want heat damage, so use a heat protectant. Tip number six to having long, luscious, healthy, fast-growing hair is to use oils and leave-in conditioners. So whenever I get out of the shower, I put a leave-in conditioner and an oil in my hair from the ears down, focusing it on the ends. Naturally, your ends have been on your head for the longest amount of time. Can we can we agree on that? So they're gonna be drier. They've seen the sun a lot. They've seen the wind. They have seen the harsh realities of life, okay? So I like to make sure that my ends are always taken care of with an oil and a leave-in conditioner. The days following that initial day, I put more oil on my ends every single day. They're naturally gonna be more dry than the hair up here. They're not receiving those natural oils that your roots are getting, so you have to give it the oils, if that makes sense. 
And my last and final tip, tip number seven, is collagen. If you watched my video on supplements I take for my skin, I mentioned the collagen peptides in that video, helping my skin a lot. But y'all, I give credit to all of the things I mentioned just now to the healthiness of my hair, but I give almost 100% of the credit of how fast my hair has grown to the collagen peptides. I'm not joking, you guys. I'm not joking. My hair has grown like a fucking weed since I started taking collagen peptides every single day. Y'all. She like a chia pet over here, okay? I'm gonna try to find some pictures, some good pictures where you can actually see like the growth, but I'm not joking y'all. My hair would not grow past here for months and months. And I would say six or seven months, it was here. I wasn't getting trims, nothing. It just would not grow past here. And I've never had that problem before, girl. My hair has been long my whole life. As soon as I started taking the collagen peptides, girl, boop. My hair has grown so much and that's why I keep getting all these messages on like, did I put extensions in or like, what, what's up? It's the collagen peptides. It makes your hair grow so fast. So make sure you order some. I'll have it linked below. They have unflavored one. That's the one I use because I mix it with my other fitness drinks, but they have flavored ones, strawberry lemonade, all kinds of options for you. Just get you some collagen peptides, okay? Do yourself a favor. But yeah, those are all of my tips and tricks on how to grow your hair really long, really fast, and make sure it's healthy and strong and shiny. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any tips and tricks that I didn't mention, please mention them below, cause girl, I will do them. I will do it all. If you made it to the end of this video, I love you, thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and follow your girl on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Woo! Look how long. Yes, honey. Pocahontas is making a come back. She don't need a John Smith though. She with a, a, a Victor brooch.